Prisons are vile and violent places. Living a peaceful life is impossible. You get surrounded by all the bad people of the world. So showing fear and appearing weak is your worst option. The bullies will target the prisoners that are weak and scared. So are there any best martial arts that might help you stand out? Welcome. Today we're going to discuss the best martial arts that work inside prison. Not to mention the techniques one can adapt. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. But before we start telling you about the martial arts and techniques that'll help you, first let's discuss, will the other prisoners know martial arts? The answer is mostly no. They don't want to know any martial arts because they don't want to defend themselves in the worst situations. In fact, they are the worst situations. They're just so eager to kill or abuse your body. And they can do it pretty easily because for these activities, they're put in prison. It's most likely that the other prisoners will be murderers, rapists, sociopaths, etc. So odds are that they won't know any martial arts. But that doesn't mean they're all professionally untrained. Some might be martial artists, masters, black belts, and if that isn't the case, they'll just be soldiers who did the wrong things. You can't tell at first sight, so just because you know some moves doesn't mean you should go show them off. It's best to keep it as a surprise. The second thing before moving out is understanding the situation. Before we could move out for real, the martial arts that'll help you. You shall always select a martial art that's good in close combat fighting. It's because of the prison cell space, so we'll be living close to the inmates. Also, different martial arts require so much space and time, while in prison, that's what you'll be lacking. You won't be allowed to practice martial arts when you get inside, but can only work out for having longer lung capacity or making yourself faster. Now that you know which martial arts to avoid, let's get started with the martial art. Wing Chun Wing Chun is a great self-defense art, great in a street fight. It's a close quarter martial art that depends on the touch and feel. At some point, you can't keep your eyes on a fixed location where you can see your opponent's movement. Chin Chun, on the other hand, is all about feel and touch. In Wing Chun, you use the opponent's movement against him, so whether the opponent is larger or not, Wing Chun will always work. Wing Chun's close quarter fight will work the best in small spaces of prison. The second martial art which will help you is boxing. Boxing's all about attacks and counters. When you're up against a prisoner and he's good at strikes, then boxing is your best pal to go with. Just as it might be an effective martial art, it can also act on the contrary. If the opponent is good at kicking or using knees, then boxing becomes your worst bet. Because with boxing, you can only counter the upcoming striking attacks. And if we talk about the ground, the situation gets even more pathetic. But hey, don't lose hope. It's still an ideal self-defense art to go with. For making it effective, you should combine it with Wing Chun. If you could carry out both the martial arts at the same time, you'll pretty much be unstoppable. Wing Chun is best for the close quarter fight, while boxing is great at punching, countering, and evading at the same time. If you don't think you're not the guy who can follow up with both of the styles, then you shall with the third one, Karate. Karate is such a great martial art that it's been thriving in the West since the 60s and 70s. Karate is versatile, deadly, efficient, and practical. They use their legs and strikes in a very deadly and furious way, which makes it ideal in a prison fight. But be careful with the kicks, though. If the prisoner catches your leg at some point, then you've lost the match already. Wondering why? Well, now he can bump you against the wall and can do everything he wants with you. And you don't have any other way to defend. Prison fights last for 5 to 10 minutes, so if you want to lay on the bright side, use your legs in a counterattack to kicks. Don't get offensive when it comes to kicks. Karate gives you the strength to break wood, steel, brick, and of course, human bones. But remember to learn the traditional karate. Today's versions of karate are diluted with ineffectiveness. They don't have the same efficiency and discipline. The best one nowadays are Kyokushin Karate and Goju Ryu Karate. At this point in our video, we've been missing out on armed prisoners. So what would be the best martial art against a prisoner with a shiv? Krav Maga. Krav Maga is one of the most popular self-defense arts. It's comprised of many fighting styles like karate, judo, aikido, boxing, and wrestling. This makes it such a great martial art. Every aspect of Krav Maga is practical and is all about survival. Even militaries are using Krav Maga to train and survive. But that's not it. Krav is not only good at one-on-one -on -one hand combat, it also teaches you to fight against weapons. 
With Krav Maga, you can easily disarm the prisoner who's carrying a shiv to kill you. So if you're looking for a martial art with one-on-one -on -one combat with survival against weapons, Krav Maga is your buddy to go with. The second one in this category is Kali. Kali is the most recognizable and popular martial art out there. The reason is that it's taught to the police forces and militants from all over the world. It's mostly centered around the knife and stick fighting. This fighting style doesn't kill your enemy, but it decapitates them properly with its aggressive fighting style. So it might be another great option to go with. Most of the time, the fights are unfair. You're not standing in a competition or MMA match where you'll only face one opponent. In prison fights, you'll most likely face more than one prisoner who just wants to. So, what are the best martial arts against multiple opponents? Combative. It's also known as close quarters combat. It was created in World War II to kill. It's not a martial art that's focused on defending yourself, but rather on killing your opponent. It's combined with all the effective techniques from almost every popular martial art. So if you're facing multiple prisoners who like playing dirty, combative could be your only way to survive. But remember, you don't want to kill the other attacking prisoners, but to defend yourself against them. The best of all, Jailhouse Rock. This is the martial art that was created inside a prison, and I should have mentioned it at the very start, but I wanted you guys to have a complete idea of what you'd be against in prison. Jailhouse Rock is widely used for surviving against shivs. With this system, you'll learn 52 hand blocks, which are used for stopping any type of attack, whether the opponent is armed or not. Plus, on the offensive side, it takes inspiration from Western boxing along with many other styles. Since it was created for prison survival and includes 52 blocking techniques in a close quarter situation, Jailhouse Rock could be a greater choice for you. Plus, all the other martial arts will take so much time for you to master. This makes Jailhouse Rock even more ideal. So it depends on how you look at it. If you're the type of person who doesn't have time to master a specific martial art, then it could be the best option. Final thoughts. The reason why I defined so many martial arts is that you could have a better idea about the situation. These martial arts styles are unique and different from each other. When it comes to prison, I wouldn't recommend just sticking to one martial art that you liked, but instead select a few. I'm not saying to be a black belt in all those, but I am saying learn different tactics from different martial arts. That's the only way to defend yourself in prison. Another reason is that not every martial art is perfect, so sometimes you have to cut out the useless. With that said, you've reached the end of our video. If you liked our video, press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more combat videos. Lastly, don't forget to mention your thoughts in the comment section. We'll see you in the next one.